What up, guys? It's ya boy Gid here, and we are back for episode 12 of our Minecraft series. So, uh, the last few episodes we've been working on our port over there, and uh, we might do a little bit over there today, but I wanted to steer away from that just to get us back to our main base over here. And uh, obviously, last episode, we also raided the Nether Fortress, so we got some materials. So this episode, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to uh, have... Well, we're going to be making some potions, finally, which will help us with a few things I wanted to do just in the future. Also, between episodes, I just went out and I did some more exploring. You can see this is the one I did a few episodes ago. And this is the one I did earlier. Uh, it wasn't too eventful up through here. But when I got to here, uh, I'll put a screenshot up on the screen right now. But there is a massive, like, birch mountain forest thing that almost looked like an amplified world. And then a huge, uh, like you can see, um, where was it? Somewhere, I think it was down here. We thought this was a big iceberg's biome. Well, uh, it's not. That is. That's like a two or three hundred block iceberg biome. So that's awesome. We'll definitely have to do something out there at some point. But, um, anyway, I believe, yeah, most of our potion stuff's in here. So I, we, we might as well just jump straight into the potions so let me go ahead and clear out an area for us to start like a well i mean just like a potion area all right so i decided that uh we're down in our storage area and you can see it comes off into the map room and i decided we'd put the potion area in here and this just digs out of the side of the mountain and we'll put another like big window in this one this one's a lot wider than it is, like, tall, so I think it'll look, it'll switch things up a little bit, but it'll, like, still work with the theme. So, uh, I'll go ahead and get some materials together, and we can start installing walls and floor. Alright, so the room, like, is now, like, the basic structure is complete. You can see, very simple, just birch walls, birch ceiling, spruce floor, and a big glass window out the front. So now we should probably get our equipment. So we'll need a brewing stand, which actually I might have. Let's see, where would I have put that? Let's get our ingredients ready also. So in this room for storage, we're also going to be using um, these barrels. Just because I really like the way they look when they're on their side. So uh, I'm going to go make some more of these and we'll just put a square of them in right here. Alright, so I went ahead and got two brewing stands. So now I'm going to build a countertop. And uh, I wanted to kind of go for like a laboratory type like vibe. But I didn't want to use... Um, I didn't want to do this entire room as like a laboratory thing because I wanted it to kind of stick with the general wood and cobblestone theme. In the future, we might build a much larger potion brewing area, and that torch... Alright, I'm going to have to move this block so it's underneath the torch because that'll bother me. But uh, in the future, we'll probably do a like bigger potion brewing laboratory with some like automation and stuff. But for the time being, I think this will be big enough. Uh, I just wanted to quickly install a little, like, nether wart farm in this room, because I think that'd look cool, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so there's everything installed. Obviously, we got the counter with the brewing stands, little nether wart farm, and just our ingredients area. Obviously, this isn't all the ingredients you could use, but these are all the ingredients that I currently have. And fortunately, they are all the ingredients for the, like, potions that I need, or want at least. So, uh, we'll go ahead and make our first batch. So, grab our empty glass bottles, fill them with some water. And we'll use this one. Get some blaze powder to powder the, or, get some blaze powder to power the brewing stand. 
you can see. And uh, where's another wart? So first step, we need to make an awkward potion just like this. And you can see it is now brewing up here. So while that's doing that, I'll get the other stuff. We're going to need magma cream because I want to make some um, fire resistance potions. And I believe it is redstone to make it last longer. So now we have our awkward potions. Let's add some magma cream. And the major reason that I wanted fire resistance potions is because soon here I want to make um, a more permanent nether tunnel. Just because the one we currently have is extremely dangerous. So it just finished. So now we have potion of fire resistance and you can see these ones last three minutes. Add the redstone. And uh, hopefully we'll be once we get the nether tunnel system up and running, we'll be able to make one that goes out to the jungle because I do have a lot of stuff that I want to do out there. And boom. Now they last a full eight minutes. So that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and throw that in here. You can see all these uh, instant health potions I got from killing witches. Oh. And there's the typical Xbox uh, achievement. So I'm going to grab one more thing of bottles, which bottles are just glass panes, if I remember where they are crafted. Hmm. Wait, no, they're... Are they glass blocks? It's been a while since I've done potions. Alright, yeah. So we'll get one more, like, rounds worth of uh, potions. Because the other one I wanted to do is a water breathing potion. Go ahead and throw these in here. Get some more nether wart to make more awkward potions. Because obviously all potions are based around awkward potions. Puffer fish for the water breathing effect and um, redstone to make it last eight minutes. So these potions are actually kind of opposites of each other. One allows you to go in lava, the other one allows you to go in fire, er, in water. So awkward potion, put in the puffer fish, it'll turn into a water breathing potion. And uh, I do actually have a carrot farm, which is nice because I'd like some night vision potions at some point. You can see... Well, you can't see because it's behind those trees, but back there is a carrot farm. Alright, so we have water breathing three minutes. This will take it to water breathing eight minutes. So we'll just wait for that. I definitely like the way this room turned out, like, looking. Uh, we'll go outside and I'll show you guys, but... uh. I think it really does, like, complement the house above it and all that. And there's our 8-minute water-breathing potions. So we'll throw all those in there, and we'll be able to use these for some projects in the future. That is the tallest birch tree I have ever seen. Good grief. And that's how our house area is currently looking. I definitely really like the look of this area, just uh, obviously we're up in a tree here, but uh, just overlooking it you can see, got the main house, stairs, and all that stuff, so I'm, I'm really happy with how this world's going so far. But uh, anyway, let's get into the next thing I had planned. Okay guys, so I figured I'd put a uh, time lapse in, um, just because I really like doing time lapses, it gives me a little bit of time to talk, and let me mute this. You guys can't hear it, but I actually have the time lapse open on my screen, and I'm watching it. And uh, let me tell you, uh, time lapse mining doesn't sound the greatest. Uh, so, so yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and mute that. But um, yeah, so this is a bit of a longer time lapse. Uh, I'll I'll have when the time lapse ends in case you want to skip it, but uh, it's it's about nine minutes long. So I, I just wanted to take some time to talk. Uh, it's actually been uh, two days since the last clip 
just because I wanted to take a break, give myself some time to refresh, do a little bit of work in the world. Um, one of the things that was actually a little bit funny and a little bit, uh, I don't want to say genius, because it was, it was mostly funny and just, you know, Jerry Rig stupid, but uh, I did some work on the drowned farm. I made it so it would work with my auto clicker. And no, I'm not talking about an auto clicker program. I'm talking about the physical auto clicker that I built out of Legos in real life. Uh, roll clip. The clip's over now. So, uh, yeah. I built a uh, auto clicker out of Legos. It is anything but perfect. It is sitting right next to me, giving me a dirty look right now. Uh, I don't, that was stupid. I, it's a, it's a bunch of Legos. But uh, yeah, so I made it so the farm will automatically run if I just put my player in a certain place and uh, run the auto clicker. Because as you can see, it was hitting the R key. So I just switch uh, attack to the R key and just let it run. It actually got me up to level 38 after about 20 minutes of just letting it run. Before it ran out of battery because uh, the Lego motors aren't that efficient. But uh, another thing about that video, and uh, you will have seen it in uh, the description of last video, and it'll be in the description of this video, that video was posted to Twitter, because I just got a Twitter account, so I figured I'd just go ahead and plug that right now. So if, if you're on Twitter, uh, hit me up with a follow, that'd be nice. Uh, you know, I can't say uh, qu quality posts yet, because I'm not really... Uh, Twitter lingual, what what would that be called? Twitter, Twitter literate, I guess. But uh, so yeah, I got a Twitter now. Um, another thing I wanted to just quickly talk about is uh, just the upload schedule of my videos. Lately, I've been doing like every other day, every two days. Uh, it, it'll probably be switching to just permanent every two days. So like. I'll post a video two days later, I'll post a video and stuff like that, <clears throat> just to give me a little bit of time extra to just make the video, plus I do have a job and all that stuff, plus school especially, so I kind of got to make these videos to work around that, just so, you know, beyond... So my point is, it'll take a little bit more time between when my videos get posted, but hopefully that means the video quality will be better. Uh, I have been improving, but I think just giving, my, giving myself a little bit more time to record and edit will really improve the quality, so I'm kind of excited about that. Another thing uh, on the channel, I wanted to start doing some other games. Uh, I have a few in mind. Like, I wanted to do some some stuff in the Just Cause series, obviously either 4 or 3. Uh, Just Cause 3 is my favorite game in the series, so probably do some of that. Another one is Ark Survival Evolved. That's just a fun game that I've played for a while, and I wanted to do a series on it. So those will come in the future, probably. Um, another game that I actually got recently like a couple days ago, is Kerbal Space Program. And uh, obviously, I'm not going to post that for a while. I keep saying obviously, and uh, it's not really that obvious because you guys don't know. But uh, I'm not too good at it yet because I got the Enhanced Edition for the Xbox One. So the controls are a little bit difficult. 
But uh, I've, I've done a little bit in that, and I'm enjoying it so far. So in the future, I do hope to do some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, yeah, I, I discovered Kerbal Space Program a couple years ago. Uh, it was before the game had actually gone into full release. And um, it was basically just one Saturday morning. I found a Scott Manley video. I don't know if you guys know who Scott Manley is, but he's like an amazing Kerbal Space Program player. But I just found one of his videos and, uh, you know, I, I realized that it was a ridiculously awesome game. So uh, finally, years later, I have the game. So you can uh, look forward to that. I like to think that I'll be doing a sophisticated space program type stuff like building space stations. But really, I think it's going to be a, a, a things exploding compilation. So there's that. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Hmm. Oh, uh, one thing you might have noticed is I am now doing custom thumbnails with, like, the episode number. <clears throat> and let me tell you guys, li like, like, to preface this, I don't get many views, obviously, because I'm new. But when I started doing the custom thumbnails... Those videos actually got, like, way more views than any of my others did, like, in the first... I think I went off, like, the first 24 hours. So, uh, if you want to immediately increase uh, the amount of views you're getting, use a custom thumbnail. Uh, it, it's not like I use some weird picture editor, either. And I might do a video on it just to show people how simple it is, but uh, those thumbnails were done almost exclusively in Google Drawings. Yes, you heard me right, Google Drawings. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, like I said, do a video on that to show you guys just how simple that is, but uh, yeah. So uh, I'm really happy with how those look and how they have actually improved my numbers, even though my numbers aren't, my numbers are anything but impressive at this point. But, uh, and we got 30 seconds left on the time lapse. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just say it right now, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, also, if you're feeling generous, share the video. And uh, I'll let this time lapse wrap itself up, and uh, we'll we'll get back into the gameplay. So one thing I ended up doing uh, between the clips was uh, I built this uh, smelter array. Because we originally just had furnaces and these like that you would fill automatically, just throw stuff in them. So I switched them to more of like an automated system. So now I can just uh, load fuel. We'll just use two coal for an example. And um, all I have to do is just throw them up here and they'll automatically feed into the furnaces and it actually does it at twice the speed you can see I've done quite a bit already so yeah I just did this to kind of speed things up a little bit just throw the uh, farm stuff in there uh, one thing that I wanted to set up was like a little flower area because I think it'd be fun to like collect all the different flowers and also we should set up a sweet berry farm over here because obviously we have the sweet berries around the house, but we don't actually have a, like a farming area. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put together some of the stuff for that. Well, 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 look who we have here. Let's see, uh, take your bets, guys. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Garbage. Figured we could put the flowers right here. Uh, there's no real reason, well I guess there is a reason to collect all the flowers because obviously they're used, um, 
for dies, but I just kind of wanted to collect them just because I think it looked nice, plus it kind of gives us an excuse to explore, I guess. I don't know. I just like the way the flowers look in Minecraft. Um, so we'll put them in two wide rows, and we'll probably go like 16 blocks or eight blocks back so we can fit them all in this area. So I'll just go ahead and throw them in. So I'll go ahead and put the Sweetberry Farm in the back corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the cobblestone slabs in. And I'll go ahead and throw the Sweetberry bushes on top of these rows of dirt. I gotta say, I do really like the way our farm area is uh, coming together. Alright guys, that is unfortunately about all the time I have for today. Like I said, like and subscribe if you liked the video, maybe share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links are, as always, in the description. I'm your boy Gid, and I'm out. See you guys next time.